bruh. What y'all are doing over there? I'm T Pendel. This is my channel. I upload videos and stuff. Currently in LA, and um, I had the craziest thing happen to me yesterday. I took an Uber, and then when I got into the Uber, the lady said, uh, did your mama give you this name? And my Uber name is just T, instead of T Pendel, because people call me T Pendel, T Pendel, T Pendel. I'm not gonna give you an opportunity to murder my name, so I just put T. But then when she asked me, did your mom give you that name? I was like, no. But in her asking me that, I felt like she was trying to compare herself to being my mom. And I was looking at her like, lady, you're not my mama. You haven't been there my whole life. You've been in my life for 30 seconds. Like, why are you asking for mama privileges when we just met? Just chill. Let me put the address in and take me to my destination. So we began driving off and Uber drivers, they fill you out. They kind of talk to you sometimes, see if you want to talk the whole damn ride or they see if you're short, see if you want them just to shut the hell up. Like, lady, stop talking to me. And this drive was gonna be about an hour long. Like I said, I'm in LA, so I wasn't going a far distance. It's just the traffic is so ass. You're just gonna be in the car. I'm talking about 16 miles to take 52 minutes. So we're driving along and I'm kind of tired just with the time change from coming from the East Coast. So I'm hitting them with that dope off. That dozed off right there. You know everybody didn't did that before or you saw somebody do it before. So we driving and she telling me about her family and her background and where she from and how her last name Johnson and how everybody knows her family. I'm like, bruh, er, 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 er. 80% of black people's last name is Johnson or Williams or Jenkins. Like, come on, stop. So she's talking about all kinds of stuff. She tries to like ask me what I do for a living and you never want to say what you do for a living, especially if you're doing what I'm doing because Uber drivers, normally that's their second job and they're just looking for another way to make money, which I can't blame everybody is. But if you tell somebody you're a creator and you work from home and you create your own schedule and you do what you want to do, they're like astonished and astounded. They just want to know how to do it also and how did you get into it? And it's just a whole nother conversation that I didn't want to deal with. So I told her I was a waiter at Chili's. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Speaking of Chili's, Chili's got, y'all got the good drinks for the low, but it always smell like mildew in there because y'all be wiping the counter with that same damn old ass wet rag and just smell like mildew in there. Fix that, Chili. So we driving and I doze off, fall asleep. We like 25, 30 minutes into the ride and I'm asleep and I hear a skirt. So I'm actually asleep when the accident happened. So I hear that boom and I wake up like, oh snap. And immediately when I wake up, I look behind me like, oh, maybe somebody behind us hit us. That way it's not gonna be her fault. Normally if you get hit from the back, it's the other person's fault. So I wake up, look behind, nobody was behind us. I look in front, this lady didn't hit somebody car she had this old white dude car he was in an infinity she was in like a little small small wheel so they had to pull over into the parking lot she at this point is in panic mode and is straight ignoring me and acting like i'm not in the car yo i'm still a customer i still got somewhere to be you out here running into people what's the deal she get out the car her and the other dude are looking at each other's vehicle she don't even care about her car because she already knows her fault and she looking at his car like oh look at that well no damage oh man this is great we don't even really have to call anybody i didn't no damage no scratch no paint oh it looks great to me the old white dude looking at her ass like yeah Ain't nobody trying to hear that. But it wasn't any damage, and he was like, you're lucky I'm gonna be a nice guy, and you could just leave. But then, her car, she went back to the front of it, and I heard her messing with the front. The whole front of the bumper was drooped. Remember how I was dozing off in the beginning of the video? That's how her bumper was in the front of her car. So she gets back in the car and she's like, Oh my goodness, um, my car's a little messed up, but his is totally fine, thank God, and nobody got hurt. And I'm looking at her like, lady, you ain't even check on me. You ain't make sure my spirits were still up, how I am mentally or physically. I don't give a damn about this car or his car. I'm a customer. You ain't get no stars. No star. So we drive off and then she asked me if I want any water or anything. And I'm like, is she really acting like this accident didn't happen? I don't need no damn water. I might need an ice pack because you just ran into somebody else's car and didn't even ask me how I was doing. So I was like, no, nah, I don't need no water. And then out of nowhere, she's like, oh my goodness, I didn't even ask you. Are you okay? How do you feel? At this point, I'm looking at her like this. Oh, now you want to ask how I feel. You ain't asked how I feel 10 minutes ago when you ran up into the back of buddy car. My whole neck and my whole throat hurt. But now you want to know how I feel. You offered me this cheap ass water, this lake water, this seaweed water, this I got this from the house faucet water, two piece your ass. But really, physically I was straight, but I just couldn't believe all of this was happening. And I'm like, damn, I dozed off and went to sleep. She could have killed me and I, was, I just wake up and didn't even know how I died. Just like, Lord, 
How did I get here? Tell me what y'all think, man. What would, what would y'all have done? Have y'all ever been in an accident with somebody else driving and they just play it off and just act like ain't nothing happening? Especially Uber. Like, tighten up. Own up to this accident. She deserved negative stars. She, All her stars should be gone for the week. She should be on probation for two weeks. Make her ass go back to driving school. Hit that like button. Comment. Subscribe. I'm out. There is nothing worse than going back to school shopping with your parents and then they get you a bunch of stuff that you're never going to use. All right, do we need any of that? No, we don't need none of that. Come on, then. We're almost done. I'm just trying to figure out what we're doing. What? We're getting a bunch of stuff we don't even need. Coffee pot, dog food. We don't even have no dog. And, and a hose. What we got a hose for? First of all, we got the coffee. The coffee is for me. And I know we don't have a damn dog, but the dog food is on sale. And y'all always talking about these hoes anyway, so I, we, we got a hose. Now you got your own hose. Come on, granddad. I'm not talking about those type of hoes, man. We talking about the hoes that be at the school home. Hose, not a water hose. Oh. You gotta get your hose right. Well, how, how I'm supposed to know what time of hose you talking? How I'm supposed to know? I'm a mind reader.